So Matt, training done, pre-season done. Saturday is the big one. How are you feeling heading towards Hartlepool? Yeah, yeah, excited. Looking forward to it. Um, pleased the pre-season's out of the way with. It's never one of my favourite times of the year. You know, it's got to be done, obviously. And the preparation, the organisation, the fitness, the minutes into the players has all been done now. So it's nice to look forward to a, a competitive game on Saturday and into a busy start of the season. Excellent. And. Dylan Kearney impressed, five goals in two games, and he's certainly been rushing into the plans. Has there any has there been anyone else that stood out for you this preseason, and are they in contact in contention to make an impact in the first team? Yeah, no, Dylan, along with you know the the nucleus of the squad that we uh, we kept from last year has been really impressed. You know, the, we got the hardcore uh, group that I'm really happy with, who know the club and know the level and. And, and you know, even know me from the few months that I was here at the end of the, end of the season. So I'm really pleased with those, but I've really been pleased with the new signings, the way they've come in and performed and integrated into the group. So uh, there's been a lot of pro uh, promises, uh, promising performances throughout pre-season um, from those ones who have been here as well as the ones who uh, have come new to the club. And no, I'm pleased with the way, as I just said, it integrated into the club and there's a good team spirit amongst the lads and it'd be nice just to get off to a good start. Good. And uh, what do you expect of your opponents this week at Hartlepool? Obviously, recently relegated in the Football League. They're still looking to rebuild their, their club and get back to where they belong. So you, what do you anticipate from them this weekend and what kind of opposition do you think they'll give you? Well, f first and foremost, they're a big club. But certainly for this level, they're a big club and I'm sure there'll be a big crowd there on Saturday. And they've got a good manager in Craig Hignett and they'll certainly be well organised and they like to you know, play their attacking style of football. They've, they've got a decent squad there, they've got good competition for places, so it'll be, uh, it certainly won't be easy, and it's uh, not, not, not an easy start for us, but it's one we've got to play sometimes, so you know, we're, we're more than ready for it, looking forward to it, and uh, look forward to going to prepare ourselves and soon find out where we are compared to you know, a good side in the division. All right, well, what everyone like, like me, everyone else is excited for the start of the National League and the general football season. So what are you hoping for in Sutton United's fortunes this year? I'll probably say the same as you know uh, most managers if they're asked that question. <laughs> I'm not looking too far ahead. Yeah. Um, a good start is what we'd want, but so do 23 other teams want a good start yeah. as well. We've, we've had a good pre-season, good results, good performances. As I said, there's a good feel about the club. There's a lot of positivity. There's a good group of players that are young, hungry and uh, all want to do well for this club and for each other. So I, th I feel if we could just get a nice couple of wins early on in, in the start of the season, I'm sure it could uh, spiral on and look to further things from there. Excellent. And a couple more questions. One of them is uh, the new signings. I asked you a couple of weeks ago about how they were integrating into the team. There were still two pre-season games left then. Since then, you've brought in Ben Juzinski, the goalkeeper, and he's definitely, from, from our point of view, been a very good addition. How have you seen him and how have the other players been integrated into the squad? Yeah, yeah, the ones who have come in in the last maybe two, three weeks, say George Tushin Firth and Dan Matsuaka, have really impressed in, in their trial games uh, that they've came in and in training. And as I said to you, I think that they've really integrated as, as good lads into the group, which is important as well. Um, ben had, had a few training sessions and a, a couple of games for us as well. So Ben was uh, like really pleasing uh, to get him over the line. And he has good competition to, to Jamie Butler. He's played 30 games at this level last year. So, you know, Jamie Butler has got the shirt at the moment, but, uh, but Ben is, is not far behind him and he's looking to to you know, add competition to Butts, which I've got all around, all around the pitch with everyone else I've signed. That's good. We're looking forward to seeing that. And finally, Matt, obviously it's a big season for all of us, but we would like you to give a message to the fans ahead of the opener and just G them up a bit for us. G them up. I don't need to do that. Yeah, do a couple. No, I've, I've, obviously I've done the fans for them. We had our open day. Um, I've got, I've got to meet in the two, three home games that we've had here got to meet quite a few of the supporters um, but no I'm looking forward to seeing the numbers travel up to Hartlepool which I believe there is quite a few so yeah. you know there's a coach leaving here at half, half past six on Saturday morning <laughs> which is absolutely superb to come and support us and all I'll say is in any game that I'll, in my teams that we will certainly give it all and you know we won't be a soft touch and I, I wanted to to make sure that our teams work hard, play for the shirt, and we'll certainly win games and we'll certainly lose games as well, but we all stick together. So we're looking forward to Saturday and seeing as many possible up at Hartlepool, but then to bring us into two home games next week and 
being my first home game here um, against Barnet um, and then Chorley. So it's a, it's a big week for, for us as a team, a squad, a club, the fans, and it's important we all stick together and, and look forward to the start of the season. Well, Matt, thank you very much. We're looking forward to Saturday and hopefully it all goes well for you up in Hartlepool. Brilliant, no problem. Right. Thank you.